Apollo IO tutorial, how to use Apollo IO for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Apollo IO. Now, Apollo IO is one of the most amazing tools that I have found when it comes to a all-in-one platform. This platform allows you to build pipelines, close deals, improve performance, streamline your operations, and everything can be supercharged with the Apollo AI. So this is going to be a tool that is going to help you in managing any of the potential leads that you have, streamlining and creating pipelines that you are able to metric down everything to because a lot of times we are just making estimates but this type of procedure allows you to ensure that everything that you are doing is supercharged and can be done in a really easy way so instead of having to manually type in every email you're going to have prompts you're going to have a system that can help you not only in building these pipelines but building each step within so from contacting an account search to actually closing deals, managing meetings, deal management, and analytics, you have everything. Now let's get started with Apollo IO. To get started, simply click on sign up for free and then you're going to agree to their terms of service. Once you do that, you're going to sign up with Google over here and then you're going to proceed with your Google account. Now you can also sign up with your email address if you want to sign up with that, but I'm just going to proceed with Google. And once we have done that, we are going to proceed on to the next step. I'm going to skip these onboarding questions and then I'm just going to directly go to our onboarding hub. Now this is what your onboarding hub is going to look like. The first step is to search for leads. You can go into the people section over here to add people and you can even just click on search for leads over here on your dashboard. Now on the left, you have different filters that you can apply to find people in your industry and in your location. Then you also have saved contacts that you can add and then you can import your pre-existing contacts as well. Now let's say I am looking for someone that has not opted out for calls that is in a particular list so i might want to include a list or a company i don't have any lists right now then we also have persona so you can create a persona of the type of person you want to find i'm going to click on new persona and this persona is going to be marketing team leads and the job titles that they should have should be team lead and in marketing team lead marketing marketing manager marketing like this let's say marketing coordinators or director and i can include you know all of the job titles that i want after that i can choose yeah, i want it to be search for a marketing executive or coordinator and then after that i want to add their management level so i want them to either be a senior manager or a director like this and then after that i have their industry and keywords so i can search for marketers in a specific industry as well let's say i'm launching a new product in pharmaceuticals so i'm going to search for pharmaceuticals over here and this will filter out all the particular results then i also have locations so i can filter out locations as well as the number of employees. Now I'm going to save this persona. And once I've done that, I'm going to go on ahead and search by this persona. So I can apply this persona and this filter will be applied. So with this persona, anyone that is fulfilling this persona is going to be found. Now you will also see their current title, company, and then their email, the name of the person, their mobile access, LinkedIn location, number of employees, as well as their industry and keywords that are related. So let's say I want to get the email or the information of this particular person. I can click on this and I can get more details about them and I can get more details about their company as well. Then I also have their company phone, but we're looking to find a person. We can find that particular person as well. 
So we can click on access email and you will have to comply to their terms of service and then you will have access to their email as well. Now, after that, we once we have started to add people onto our list, we can proceed with the next section, which is going to be companies. So now you can even search for different companies in the same way and then add your own as well. After that, you can go into lists and create your own lists of all of your accounts in your particular market. You can even click on all to see all of the lists in your particular account. And then you have data enrichment. Data enrichment allows you to see any changes in jobs, missing emails, or CRM status. You can connect your CRM as well as find any of your emails over here. Now, below that, you have your engagement section, which allows you to manage and send out emails. To send out emails, you have to first link your Gmail account or your mailbox to the Apollo AI. So you can go into emails over here and then click on add mailbox, select your option. So if you are using Google, Outlook or other, and then agree to their terms of service, link to your mailbox over here and then provide your email over here. Your account is going to be read. Uh, you're going to allow Apollo to have access to some of your emails. And once you have uh, the access granted, you will see all of your emails here, which you can reply to. You even have calls. Now, once you've linked your mailbox, you can go back into sequences and then you can create sequences with AI as well as create your own sequence manually. So you can use pre-formatted sequences such as these templates. So if I want to win customers from competitors, if I want to send a at-risk customer email, if I want to have sales buyers, event invitations, prospects, inbound sequences, you have multiple different options in that as well. Now, after that comes your section for meetings, conversations, and deals. Now, in their deal section, you will actually have your pipeline. So you can click on create deal. You can name this your marketing deal with XYZ company, you can create a account for that and then you can enter their pipeline. Now from here, click on pipeline and this is your data management system under your settings. So you're going to click on create pipeline here and build individual pipelines. So this is my sales pipeline or, you know, you can name this anything if it's a CRM, you can even use it as a CRM as well, but you can add all of your particular qualified stages or stages that are accurate for your pipeline go back and then go into your deal section and then choose the particular pipeline you want to create your deal in and then add the information and the amount and then the deal can be moved through the stages of the particular pipeline so in this way you can get started with apollo ai it really is a all-in-one tool that can help you in optimizing your business i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video